And today it really will be battleground Florida with back to back rallies in this must win swing state for Hillary Clinton and for Donald Trump. Trump is pointing to the energy at his rallies, but that enthusiasm hasn't moved the needle much when it comes to his poll numbers. Now his campaign's unveiling what you could call Trump TV as the GOP nominee goes after what he calls the rigged media and the rigged system overall. With just two Tuesdays to go, Donald Trump's outwardly optimistic, but maybe not totally realistic. We're leading, number one. Folks, we're winning. We're winning. We're winning. Virtually every major poll shows otherwise, something Trump himself acknowledged just hours earlier. I guess I'm somewhat behind in the polls, but not by much. Trump's trailing Hillary Clinton nationally and by a slim margin in must-win battlegrounds North Carolina and Florida. Now, stoking speculation he's laying the groundwork if he loses for an all-Trump network. All right, welcome into Trump Tower Live. I'm His team's debuting its own nightly broadcast on Facebook. We're again excited to be bypassing the left-wing media, which skews everything. They're not calling it Trump TV, but it sure looks like it. This idea of a Trump media empire, are, are you allowing yourself to imagine that scenario too during this? No. Everybody's talking about it because they have so many voters and they're so committed. Still caught in controversy, the GOP nominee denying a new allegation of sexual misconduct from an adult film actress whose lawyer, Gloria Allred, is a longtime Clinton supporter. Trump now raising eyebrows with this defense. He grabbed me and he grabbed me on the arm. Oh, I'm sure she's never been grabbed before. Increasingly defiant, Trump's sticking to his strategy, blaming what he calls a rigged system, even as he debuts a new line of attack on the Affordable Care Act. After a report from the federal health agency shows insurance premiums for some consumers will rise an average of 25% next year. Yet another double digit spike in your premium for Obamacare and it doesn't work. The administration argues things are better now than before the law was passed. Health care, a key issue for most voters in places like Florida, the site of dueling rallies today. Listen, baby. And in New Hampshire, where a feisty Elizabeth Warren on the trail with Clinton resurrected Trump's debate night dig. What we want to do is to replenish the Such Social a Security nasty Trust woman. Fund. On November 8th, we nasty women are going to march our nasty feet to cast our nasty votes to get you out of our lives forever. A more confident Clinton campaign spreading surrogates across the country today, including President Obama on late night TV. When you watch the debate and you watch yeah. Donald Trump, do you do you ever laugh? Do you ever actually laugh? <laughs> most, uh, most of the time. <laughs> Through it all, the Republican infighting hasn't gone anywhere. And now our new NBC News Survey Monkey online tracking poll shows a majority of Republicans, 57 percent, believe that that friction could actually threaten Trump's chances at winning the presidency. After his rallies in Florida today, by the way, he heads to Washington tomorrow, spending some of his limited time before Election Day opening his new hotel in D.C. Matt, Savannah. Hallie Jackson up early and on the trail this morning. Thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.